So there's the part that's really taking a look at the, the hazards around the work site. So the things that'll cause you to trip, the poor lighting, the lifting, those types of things. Uh, that's really to prevent people from having injuries that may affect them. Sometimes for a short period of time, sometimes they can be injuries that will affect a person and change their life forever. How do I make my day healthy? Uh, well, as people are seeing, I've got a sit-stand station. Uh, I can either do my work in a seated position that's ergonomically correct, or I can move it into a standing station and work at that way. And again, it's ergonomically correct. For me, it was a bonus because I was having lower back pain and uh, had some disc issues. And so for me, it helps me in my physio and in my mobility to be able to stand up during the workday. It helps us to be less sedentary, I think. And in my job, I don't get out of the office very much. I'm on a lot of teleconferences. I sit in on a lot of meetings. And so I am sitting predominantly in my position. So this gave me a chance to Stand up. The first thing I noticed was the lower back pain that I had for a number of years has diminished. In order to work as a nurse, you have to be able to look after people. You have to be healthy yourself. That means, you know, taking care of yourself as in exercising, going out, doing things, uh, having good relationships with your co-workers, uh, being able to talk things through, being able to have that quiet time, being able to leave and go home, and leaving your job at at your workplace. I'm a big supporter of hand hygiene. Um, when it comes to workplace health and safety, I mean germs live on your hands. It's a common factor that if you're going to do something you need to wash your hands. We all know that before we, we wash our hands. Well in, in a hospital setting there's numerous viruses, bugs, everything around there. You have to wash your hands before you look after somebody. You need to wash your hands after you look after somebody. In the workplace too, we kind of encourage them to be, you know, safety conscious and, you know, protect yourself like bags or, you know, proper body mechanics when doing, looking after your patients. Workplace health and safety is not just about you, it's about everybody you're working with. We all look after each other and I mean, you can have times when things are super busy and you still need to look after each other and look out for each other and as well as yourself.